Hello everyone and welcome. I am here to teach you some of the basics about the sandbox game. We'll be talking about the currency sand and how to purchase it and what your sand could be used for. We'll be talking about how to purchase assets and how to mint an asset. As we will be moving over to Polygon very shortly, this video will just cover the basics with brand new up-to-date videos going in-depth once we have moved over. So let's get started. Sandbox uses a cryptocurrency called Sand. The way you get Sand is in a few different ways. You can either visit an exchange site like Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, where you can either use your fiat to exchange the Sand or exchange another crypto coin for Sand. You can also use a site called Uniswap, which will also allow you to swap any coin for another within your wallet. Now that you have sand, what can it be used for? You can purchase land during our land sales, which are announced on our official pages like Twitter and Discord. These are limited and once all the land is gone, then the only way to purchase the land will be through secondary markets like OpenSea. You can stake sand and earn rewards. You can hold on to your sand and save it, or you can purchase assets from the sandbox marketplace. Let's look into purchasing assets. Click in the marketplace tab. will allow you to see all the assets you have with the rarities shown as a color border around each asset. We have a filter bar down the side where you can select certain collections or go down to the bottom where you can filter through whether they are equipment, wearables, art, by behavior, slots, catalysts. When you find an asset you like, the price is shown at the bottom in both sand and dollar value. You can click on the asset and you can either add to cart and continue shopping or you can click buy now. In buy now, you can select the amount of copies you wish to purchase and then click continue. Pressing continue will open up your MetaMask for you to confirm the transaction, there will be a gas fee involved. But once we do move over to Polygon, those fees will be drastically reduced. If you are happy with the price and the gas fee, click accept. And after five minutes, you will be able to see your asset within your inventory. Next, let's talk about how you can mint one of your own assets. So what you would need to do is go over to your inventory. You will need the correct catalyst and gems to be able to do this. Within your inventory, go to entities and click to mint. This will show all assets that are ready to be minted. If you have the correct gems and catalysts for the asset, you will click the check up here and start minting. It will ask you how many copies that you would like to mint. If you have the correct gems and catalysts, it will say mint with gems. Otherwise, it will just say a common mint and it will remove all those gems and catalysts off of that asset. Clicking mint with gems will also prompt the wallet box to come up to confirm the transaction and will also have a gas fee involved. Once again, on Polygon, this gas fee will be much, much smaller. Once you have minted, You'll be able to see your minted assets in the to sell section. This is where you can click on any of your assets that you have created and put them up for sale. You can select the amount that you wish to sell. You can put in the price in sand. The price in sand is how much you will receive and Sandbox actually add their 5% onto it once it goes into the marketplace. So what you list your asset as is what you will receive. You will then be able to select a date from to a date to for sale. And there is no gas fee for putting this up for sale. You should now understand a little more on how to buy sand, what you can do with your sand and how to mint an asset. We'll have more updated videos going in depth coming soon. Have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the metaverse. Goodbye.